Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I'm on a Halloween collab made by Katrina Kwai. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this really adorable pumpkin. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same, I'm just going to show you how you can decorate your pumpkin for the Halloween season. So basically my pumpkin has yarn hair, googly eyes, some gemstones around here, painted face, and um, some pipe cleaner antennas. So yeah, let's get on with this tutorial. You will need two colors of um, paint. One is going to be the accent color, one's going to be just the main color. As you can see, I didn't add any like scales or anything. You probably want black and white paint for teeth and a face, some googly eyes. All these things are pretty much optional, so you can basically use anything you want. You might want some gemstones, a thin paintbrush, a paint palette, some glue. You might want some glitter. Um, you might want to use a makeup sponge for applying paint or a huge brush like this one. Oops. Some yarn for the hair, um, scissors, and anything that you think would be nice like puffy balls. So yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> As you can see, I've already started to paint the coats on the side of the pumpkin. But basically what you want to do here is you want to keep applying coats. You can use your blow dryer to kind of cool it. If you want to do this really fast, you can use your blow dryer to cool each layer of paint. But make sure it's on a cool, low setting so that the paint doesn't bubble up. So keep applying coats, and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, so that took me a long, long time to paint it. And... Um, yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing on the um, <coughs> little googly eyes. So I think I might want to put one and then two tiny ones. So like I said, just be really creative with this. There's like no artistic limits at all. So just get the glue on and put it in the middle. Or I might want to add three large ones, let's see. I think three large ones. And then just stick it on up here. And these are really fun to do. Like, you can basically do these with anything in your house, like paper clips or, yeah. So just put it on here. I think that should be much lower. So when you're done with that, just do it. I need to clean mine up a little. Okay, so now I'm going to stick the antenna in. So what I've done is I just cut a pipe cleaner in half. Now I'm just going to stick it in. And then I'm going to kind of cut a little bit because I think it's too big. And I'm kind of inspiring this one off of the fish that try to eat Nemo. You know that light fish? So just kind of telling you right now. Yep. And then I'm going to get one of those little yellow ones so it can look like the light. And just glue it on. Now it looks really cool. Um, now I'm going to just take something for the nose. Let's do a puff ball. Actually, I'm going to do the mouth. So I'm going to go get black paint and do the mouth. Okay, as you can see here, the pipe cleaner really sticks into the pumpkin nicely. I think that's because it has the little metal part at the end of the wire. So, yep. Now just take your paintbrush. I'm going to paint a big black square and then I'm going to fill it in with teeth after it's dried. So basically the point of this is to make a monster or anything you want. This is really fun if you have like younger siblings, but it's also fun to just be artistic with it and just have lots of fun. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. While I let that dry, I'm gonna also paint on a few scales. Okay, as you can see, I um, kind of did some little sea monster scales because as I said, this is inspired by Nemo. So as you can see now, I'm kind of doing the mouth. So first you wanna kind of make an outline triangle shape and that apparently is the wet. That's okay. And you kind of want to do two coats on the tooth because this is just after it dries you're going to want to do another coat so just do that <clears throat> excuse me um and do it on the top. Okay, so now it looks vicious and evil. Um, now we're going to just get some gemstones and I'm going to start sticking them near the scales to just add a little pop. Sorry, my glue's kind of not cooperating. So just add them any place you want. Now oh, that one fell. So yeah, this is how to make your own Halloween pumpkin. You can do any style you want. And yeah, um, go make sure to check out the other Halloween members collab videos. I'm sure they're pretty awesome. So yeah, this is All Things Cupcake 2000 and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial.